What is good, everybody? Today we're back with a brand new WWE Ultimate Edition review on the WWE Ultimate Edition Series 23 LA Knight figure. Now, this is a guy that has kind of a controversial WWE action figure past. We have seen a couple basics of the guy. We've gotten a couple of elites now, and now he has upgraded to full figure form. He's in his final transformation here in Ultimate Edition form with our Ultimate Edition 23 figure, and I'm honestly skeptical of this figure in a lot of ways, but I think there are some cool things about it and some things I've been waiting on about this figure that I can't wait to get into. But if you guys want to grab this figure you can do so over ringside collectibles use promo code md toys to save yourselves 10 percent ringside collectibles greatest wrestling figure action figure stop in the world go check it out online retailer go check it out but today man we do have the la knight figure here and i like this figure in a lot of ways we are going to dive into things i don't like you know i haven't unboxed it i don't know how it feels in hand these are things that can really answer some questions we have about the figure of course you have the front viewing window here la knight it is your standard wwe ultimate edition packaging it is a mainline release which means means that the border of the box is going to be white with red accents. If you didn't know, store exclusives, things like that, usually have the red interface with the white accents. But on the side, you have a little talk tool on the side there. And on the back, you do get a shot of the figure. And then you get a shot of the beastly man right there. And you got some info there. And then you can read the bio now if you want to. Pause the video if you want to read it. On the other side, we have LA Knight Ultimate Edition. And for the most part, man, I mean, that is pretty much your packaging for this LA Knight Ultimate Edition figure. I'm excited for it, man. We're going to dive into it. Let's shut the hell up. Let's crack him out of the packaging and find out what this LA Knight Ultimate Edition figure is all about. So here's our Ultimate Edition LA Knight figure out of the packaging. I don't know, man. I don't know. I might be quite impressed here. I might be quite impressed. I'm, it's not perfect. It's not a perfect figure, but we're going to dive into everything I like about the figure, everything I don't like. We'll take you through the accessories. We'll take you through the figure itself. I think there's some, some things lacking here, which we will get into as we break it down, of course. I can violently tell you that it's better than his first Elite. Now, is it better than the Defining Moments? That's really the question we're trying to solve here, because that first LA Knight figure, I don't think really checks any boxes for me. I don't know. It's just a very not lifeless release, but was missing quite a bit, and we'll get into all that as we break it down. Nonetheless, man, let's dive into the accessories you get with LA Knight, and then we'll back it up and take a closer look at the figure itself. So getting into the accessories you get with LA Knight, I mean, it's pretty on par with an Ultimate Edition. A bunch of interchangeable head sculpts, interchangeable hands, cloth goods. The only thing not meeting the criteria would be a championship belt, and the only way they could have done that is if they fast-tracked the U.S. title in there, which they couldn't do because he hadn't won it yet. I guess they could have included a million-dollar title maybe or something, but they didn't do it, man. They said F that. Now, I think one of my biggest skeptics coming into this figure was going to be how the head sculpts looked. I'm not a big fan of the head sculpts. Got a little schmutz on the forehead right there. Oh. You, you have some schmutz on your jammy no, jam. No, there is no schmutz on my jammy jam. I have to get that off somewhere, but it's not my favorite. It's the same exact head sculpt we saw with Elite 108 LA Knight. Just not a very attractive head sculpt, and I think that LA Knight, that's a handsome fella. That's a, you know, that's a, that's a man's man right there. And he is missing the mark right here. Not very handsome. Looks kind of derpy a little bit, kind of a little high, low eye going on. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of this head sculpt. And then the next head sculpt we have is the same one they used on the Defining Moments, and the beard is slightly painted differently, I think. Hold up, let me get the Defining Moments head sculpt in here. Yeah, this is, uh, it's a lot more, I guess, realistic. It's got, like, a realistic look to it. It's not as dark, but nonetheless, it really doesn't look like LA Knight to me. It's not the worst head sculpt I've ever seen, ever, but it's still not the greatest. I, I don't know, it lacks likeness for me. I'm not the biggest fan of this overall, and I think that they could have done better here on this head sculpt, but they did include it since it was one of the more recent head sculpts, which is weird because on his elite figure, they left off the basic head sculpt they could have used. And then even on the defining moments, they left off that figure head sculpt again. Why do they only give us one good version of a head sculpt? It's ridiculous. And then here is the new head sculpt, and I have no idea what actor it is. I, I, I can envision him, but I have no idea what his name is, but he looks like that actor. And this looks nothing like L.A. Knight again to me. I do not see L.A. Knight. There's something about the nose and eyes that is maybe the spacing or something. I just don't see it, man. Look at that right there. That doesn't look like L.A. Knight to me. It looks like my Uncle Rick. That's what it looks like. It looks like Uncle Rick over here instead of LA Knight, but yeah, man, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of this head sculpt either. I think all the head sculpts on this figure are a complete miss in my humble opinion. Now, something else that I think is underrated about Ultimate Editions nowadays is, you guys know, if it's an Ultimate Edition, they're going to use these nice stretchy t-shirts that have no Velcro on the back, so you get the LA Knight. This looks like one of those custom t-shirts you would see from third-party companies or from people that make customs on Instagram or online, and it looks very good. It's very quality. It feels very quality as well. Has a very PWR Lucha feel to it or a custom t-shirt feel to it and it's very high quality. I think they did a good job 
job here. It says, let me talk to you there. And then on the back, you have the LA Knight logo. Now, will it stain the figure? I would guess that it would. I'm not going to say that it wouldn't. You guys know on the DX from the vault shirt, it had the white on the inside. This does not. So I'd be afraid this would stain. I have no proof of it staining, but you never know. And I don't know if I want to risk it, you know, but I do like this. You can remove the shoulders to put this onto the figure. And just to demonstrate what this would look like, you can slide it over the top, remove the arms, and then you can slide this on like this. And then you would plug the arms back in if you wanted to put this shirt on. It's not difficult. You know, you just line that up and then pop that in right there and you do that on both sides and you have your shirt on. Another thing here is the LA Knight entrance vest and this is the exact same entrance vest that came on his Defining Moments and it's the same mold as the Elite 108. So you have the shredded stuff on the shoulders, the yeah down the side, the LA Knight logo and then you flip it on the back, it's LA Knight again. So it's the exact same vest that we got on his Defining Moments which isn't the biggest deal but I don't remember if he wore this vest with this attire. I'm sure he did. I just think that if it were red and matched the, the attire it would be a lot better. He also comes with a WWE microphone with the triangle pattern right there which looks nice this looks to be a little different than the microphone he came with in the defining moments line too so there's slight differences he also comes with the entrance glasses right here that do fit the figure head sculpts pretty well here so if you have a head sculpt here you can just kind of slide those on they kind of have like the ozzy osbourne look to them which look pretty good i think they fit the figure well and they fit all three head sculpts pretty well as well now outside of that for interchangeable hands we do get the mic holding hands with the white hand tape i wish this peg was white but i don't i don't hate it i think that it looks good for here you also get a pair of pointer fingers to point at people and tell them to shut the hell up. And then just like his Defining Moments figure, he does come with the custom or signature LA Knight hands, a little schmutz on the middle finger right there, but not the biggest deal of all time. But we did see these on the Defining Moments figure. We did not see these on the Elite 108. So this is a nice addition to the Ultimate Edition. So getting into the LA Knight figure at the top of the head sculpt, this is the Elite 108. I usually, when I do these reviews, always put the neutral head sculpt on there. I don't know why. It's I put my holding hands on the figure and I put the neutral head sculpt in there for whatever reason. It's just what I do when I break down figures and reviews unless I have no option obviously but this head sculpt's just not very good at least it sits well in the neck and we will do a head swap when we compare it with the basic figure or the basic head sculpt at least but going down to the torso man this is a really nice torso I really dig this torso I like that they have the chest hair and stomach hair in there it's very subtle it's not the biggest deal there they made it look pretty good I'd say I don't know if this is the best I don't remember what kind of different chest hair prints they have I think they have this dotted version and then they have one don't they have one that has lines or something I think the lines one would probably look better but not a bad deal. I'd rather have it than not have it, but I really like this new torso right here. It feels tight in hand and everything. Very good. I think the shoulders, arms, and torso are very, very well done. I, I like this for LA Knight. He also has the white wrist tape on the left and the black on the right. I don't know if that's accurate or not. And what's also dumb is he doesn't have the red forearm band, and the red forearm band was supposed to represent Michael Jordan, so it's like this is supposed to be a Jordan-inspired gear, and they didn't do the arm band. I think that would have been cool if they did the red arm band. Whether it was sculpted on or painted on, I think that would have been nice. But getting down into the tights. This is something I wanted to touch on. So there is a detail missing from these tights, okay? This is supposed to be, they're supposed to be a very nicely print, and they can do it. I've seen them do it. I've seen them do something like this before, where they make a little miniature print on the tights. It's supposed to have the cement print or elephant print that Jordan put on a lot of his different shoes and colorways over the years. So it's this elephant print or cement print. If you wear Jordans, if you're familiar with Jordans or shoes of any kind, or you're in that realm, if you're in that realm, you know that the elephant print or the cement print is a very popular print amongst the shoes and they didn't put it here there is no print on there so it kind of makes the it makes the details of the trunks not there another reason why I know this is because I had to hand paint that print on a pair of cleats and I know this is a little side quest but I wanted to put it out there so you guys can be on the lookout for it so I'm from Tuscaloosa Alabama and I'm a big college football fan and our quarterback is Jalen Milrow well I made custom cleats for Jalen Milrow and then got to bring them to him at the facility and I'm hoping that he'll be able to wear them versus Georgia so if you guys watch college football or you're going to be watching Alabama Georgia this weekend keep an eye out for the cleats man let's see if he'll wear the cleats I made custom cleats for Milrow and I put that print on there and so it's fresh on my mind because I just recently did that not too long ago and I know that that print was on these tights so I think these tights missing that print is I don't know it's just a detail that would have really made it stand out but you do have the LA Knight logo on the back and everything and then we go down to the thighs which I think would look better with Bobby Roode thighs or Dolph Ziggler thighs that would just look a lot better man they make these too lean and skinny and it kind of throws everything off and then he does have black knee pads which are good at least they're not the massive ones and then the just crimp de la creme. The best thing about this figure is the Jordan 11 inspired boots. I've been waiting on from Mattel. You can see here it looks just like the Jordan 11s. You got the LA logo. You even have LA Knight right here on the strip which is supposed to look like a Jordan 11. You have the Concord patent leather wraps around and then you even have the LA on the back that's supposed to represent the 45 or the 23. So that's very, very sick. I love these. I love the Jordan 11s. I have a couple pairs of 11s. I think I have three pair of 11s and I, I love the Jordan 11. Probably my favorite Jordan. I just think they're so sweet. So having them 
represented here in figure form is very dope. And you even have the toe articulation in there. Just a great looking piece. And these look so good in figure form. I'm excited to have these. So getting into the LA Knight articulation here, you're not going to get a good ab crunch because it is an ultimate edition, but the upper diaphragm is very tight and the waist is tight. So that is good. You are going to get butterfly joints here, which is obviously immaculate. I love butterfly joints. I know a lot of people don't like the ultimate edition torsos, but I'll take butterfly joints over no butterfly joints. You get the full rotation, bicep swivel, double jointed arms, all that good jazz there. He does have drop down hips, so he'll be able to get a very good kick forward there for you if you want to do that. He does have a good split, of course, as well. Look at that right there. That just looks like it's going to snap. Be very careful. Upper thigh cut, double jointed knee. You get the boot rotation. You get a slight ankle pivot, and then you do get the toe articulation there, and the ankles move down and up. So you get a ton of articulation here. It's a very good figure feel and hand. The only thing I don't like is the head sculpt, but let's get into some LA Knight figure comparisons, and you guys can make the decision on what you like and dislike about this Ultimate Edition LA Knight figure yourselves. So for your LA Knight figure comparisons, you have the Elite 108 over here with the basic LA Knight head sculpt. You have the Ultimate Edition with the Elite 108 head sculpt and Ultimate Edition head sculpt. And then you have the Defining Moments with the Defining Moments head sculpt and one of the secondary Ultimate Edition head sculpts. And it just stands out to me. The middle one looks the best. Is, is it even close? I think the Ultimate Edition thrashes the Defining Moments and the Elite 108. I just like it much better. I like the attire better. It has the Jordan 11 shoes. It has the better looking torso and proportions. It just looks immaculate. I like the Ultimate Edition a lot. And this figure actually has shocked me and how much I like it. I mean, really, I don't really have that many gripes about it. But I do want to do a head swap here. Now, I did put like some silly putty or something in the head sculpt. I think it's some sticky tack because I wanted to see what this head sculpt looked like on here if you guys wanted to do so. And it probably won't fit, honestly. Yeah, it doesn't really fit that well. But if you, if you wanted to make some adjustments it doesn't look that bad. Look at that head sculpt on there. That's not half bad right there. Not half bad at all. And then I also wanted to put the U.S. Championship on here just in case you want to get, you guys wanted to see that. So if you wanted the U.S. title on here and you could wrap that up right there, then there you go. You have the U.S. title on the LA Knight with the basic head sculpt. No, no, it looks pretty good, man. I like that a lot. I think this this does it some good favors, but I think that pretty much wraps up your LA Knight figure comparisons. I, I, I don't know, man. This figure has quite shocked me. I'm quite shocked. Consider me just dumbfounded. But at the end of the day, I think that about wraps up our WWE Ultimate Edition LA Knight action figure review. Giving you the consensus from top to bottom, man. Everything about this figure, I, I like this figure overall. And we'll, Let's just get into it. Let's get into it from top to bottom and then I'll give you my overall thoughts. So from the head sculpts, I don't think there's a single head sculpt on this figure that I really like. I just don't see the likeness in any of them. The closest one is the Elite 108 one and I didn't like that one when it initially came out. I think his basic is still the best head sculpt but it is slightly darker than this figure for whatever reason. So you may have some trouble there with the skin tone. But I don't like any of the head sculpts. I don't think they really look like LA Knight. There's something about the likeness or the eyes or something is off. There's something off about the figure's head sculpts that I do not like. I love the torso, arms, and shoulders of the figure. I think it looks really good. I think it's one of one. I think that it did, they did a really good job of capturing that likeness of his torso. I hope to see that torso moving forward on some other guys. And I think it's a really unique torso that looks very good. They didn't forget chest hair. It makes it stand out as well. I'm telling you, man, chest hair and stomach hair on figures is some of the most underrated details. I say it a lot, but it really reigns true in figures like this when it stands out when they do it right. Going down to the trunks, I really wish they had the cement slash elephant print on there. I really do, man. I, I can't believe they did not put that on there. That is such a subtle detail that would really throw the figure over the top, and I know they could have done it. And again, it's supposed to be Chicago Bulls or Michael Jordan inspired. That's why that cement print is there. That's why it's red, black, and white. I don't know where this matchup took place, but he is a Jordan fan. You could tell by the gear. And that cement elephant style print that they put on all the J's, that is a thing. And I think that that would have really, really helped the figure. I honestly, I might, I don't know if I, I doubt I could hand paint it. It'd be way too big. The pattern would be too big. But I don't know. I might look into getting a decal that could fit perfectly over the rest of the tights and seeing if we could put that on there because I promise you it would make the figure look a hell of a lot better. But you guys know I don't like the thigh mold they use. I think that they use, they should use the Bobby Roode style thighs that are much bigger. The Dolph Ziggler mold, the Bobby Roode mold. It's a much better thigh size and it fits guys like LA Knight. I just think they make them too lean and too long and it kind of throws off the proportions of the figure. And then you guys know I love the damn boots. The Jordan 11 inspired Concord boots are so damn sick. I'm so glad to finally see them in figure form. They look so good. I think the only boots we're lacking now that I've been dreaming of Mattel making is Kurt Angle's boots from like 2000, 2001. I, I gotta see those boots made. Hopefully we will see them in figure form. They could have put them on his ultimate. They could have put him on his new Legends Elite that's coming. They haven't done it yet, so I gotta be in their ear making it. And you know what's even better than that? And I know this is kind of getting off the LA Knight thing, but when they make those boots for Kurt Angle, they're actually gonna be in the new boot mold. And the new boot mold shape looks more accurate and better. So I'm actually excited to see what that colorway would look like on that new boot sculpt. I digress. That's just something I want to get into. I know I'm a loser, but... 
I wanted to get into it anyway. But at the end of the day, I like the LA Knight figure overall. It actually does impress me. The only thing that really lacks is the legs and the head sculpts. The head sculpts aren't good. I love the accessories. I like the gear. I love the Jordan 11 boots. And I do think that it's better than all of his elites. It's better than the Defining Moments, which shouldn't exist. And it's better than his Elite 108 figure that was also a miss. Was that a damn Dr. Seuss rhyme? I don't know what the hell that was. But anyways, man, that is going to wrap up the video. Huge shout out to Ringside Collectibles for making this review possible. Go over there, use code MDTOYS, save yourself some money, man. They're absolutely goaded, and I appreciate them so very much. And another huge shout out to our Patreon members, who I also appreciate so much, man. You guys are absolutely beautiful. Thank you guys so very much for your support. You guys are incredible, and I appreciate you every single day, man. And speaking of which, we did have a new Patreon sign-up, man. Huge shout out to my man Derek S for signing up as a Patreon member, man. Thank you so much, brother, for your support. You're absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for your support, man. Derek S., you're a beast. But I'm getting the hell out, man. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know all of your thoughts on this LA night down in the comment section below. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you guys later. <laughs>